What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back with that nostalgic intro and here in Beam NG Drive once again for a very special episode today. We are here for the Beam NG Drive Monster Truck Super Show, and this will be a culmination of all of our previous events up to this point. We've got past winners, we've got underdogs, we've got fan favorites and everything in between, but we've got a few rules as well. And the rules are that there are no rules. You can read through those on your own, but the most important one is that you, as always, will determine the winner by voting at the straw poll link in the description and pinned at the top of the comments. Both links will take you to the same place. Be sure to vote for who you think wins because there's a massive 25 truck field, as you can see here, and we have to try and determine which one of these trucks is going to be the winner at the end of the day. You know they all want to get it, and it's going to be an epic showdown to see who can get it done. So let's, without further ado, get right into it. It's going to be rapid fire here today, and Hot Wheels is coming out of the box, and he hits his first jump right away, and it's some big air right off the bat. Of course, we are here at an awesome track. This is the Truck Killer Hot Wheels edition, so very fitting that we're out here with the Hot Wheels truck to start things off. And uh, he's going to go back for the racing lane jump and get some more sick air right there to start this one off. Having a nice opening run, he's going to go for some more jumps here. Uh, towards the bottom of the track if you will so I'm actually doing a little bit different method of this video uh, Usually I'll be live commentating as the run is going on, but I'm actually doing this commentary post run uh, Trying something a little bit different out for the show So I think it's hopefully will be m a little bit more entertaining that way as he goes over the crush cars for the first time today And gives a little kiss to that tanker as well goes over top of that and has a very strong run going for him thus far. Those crushed cars and that tanker will be fun as he hits some massive air over the center jump and gets knocked sideways, two wheels it, and pulls it back on all fours, saving the truck. Nicely done there, and immediately combos it back, and he's still out of shape as he goes up the next jump. Man, he is whipping that thing back around, though. Hot Wheels going well so far another wacky jump though a harsh landing that's gonna put him on the roof but he's gonna pull it back out he's gonna need to work on it a little bit more is he gonna get it back right here it's not gonna go all the way he still needs to try and put that thing back on all fours and finally he does what a magnificent save right there by hot wheels working on that thing to get it going puts it into a nice sky willy right there as well and still whipping that thing around Pulling that back in here towards the center jump of the lower side here. And he's going to go straight up the center jump the back way. Yes, he does. Oh, he's knocked off sideways again, though. I heard a tire get blown out. I believe it's that left rear tire is gone, and he's lining up for the backflip ramp. Oh, he's not going to get all of it. Twists it up a little bit. Can he grab it back on all four wheels? What a job of pulling it back on all fours, and that is going to end the run. What a way to cap off. A spectacular opening run. The truck is still in one piece, although a little battered. But that is a fantastic way to start the show right there with Hot Wheels. And we're going to roll right into our next one. I told you it was rapid fire here. We have a previous winner in Wrecking Crew back here to try and put on a show for the fans. And that's what he's going to do. So out with his first jump already and going straight for the big stuff over the back of the center hill. He pulls it nice and neat down. Neat. Oh, he said it. Nice and neat. There it is. He's going to pull it around here, hit one of the smaller jumps, and walk it over that. Oh, nice. Love those little technical moves like that. And pulls it into a slab wheelie and walks the truck after getting hit a little bit on that little crush car stack. He's going to pull it back in here to one of the smaller jumps. He's going to get a nice square hit on that. Nice landing as well. He's going to jump over one of the racing lanes backwards. Oh, a little bit sideways on the landing on that one. But he saves it and works it into a bit of a wheelie there, and he's going to walk the wheelie up over the center jump. Very nice right there. Hits the, hits the racing lane landing there. And got knocked sideways a little bit, but recovered. Back over to the bottom side hills. And jumps up on two wheels yet again here for Wrecking Crew. Doing a very good job so far here. Having the momentum high. Going back over that center jump. Going to get some massive air. Cross threads a little bit. And that's a nice landing as it gets right there for a jump like that. Now over the fountain, he's going to land. Rear tires dip in the water. Give him a drink. And he's going to whip that thing back around here. And he's going to go jumping over the bus. Indeed, he is. He lines it up, jumps over the bus, clears the crush car on the other side, and gets a sideways landing. Is he going to be able to save it? He does. He used the momentum. I'm not sure that's really a gyro save. He did indeed use the momentum. I'm sure it's close enough to a gyro a save to be uh, frowned upon, but... 
He did manage to get the truck back after that using his momentum, so I don't know. That one's going to be one for the fans to decide as he gets some massive air right there and another crooked landing. There's going to be no shortage of those today. And he's going to run it down the racing lane. Let's see, oh, is he going to line it up for the backflip ramp? Indeed, he does. And by he, I mean me from earlier, which is going to be a funny thing to reference every now and then. But he lands the backflip, hits a massive jump over the center, and the wheel breaks off on what was likely going to be the final hit anyway. The wheel has broken off. Well, hey, if you're going to lose a wheel, that's a pretty opportune time to do it. Give it to the fans, Wrecking Crew, with another solid run. Coming out second and probably putting up a pretty solid number. And next out, another Team Scream truck. This is Avenger, one of my favorite monster trucks personally. And he's coming out here down the racing lane to give the fans a show. Let's see what Avenger is capable of here at our showdown. He's going to go for the tanker. It looks like indeed he is up and over the tank with some big air. Slaps into that little crush car stack right there and keeps it on going. Get some nice air back here. Nice little jump. Going to turn that thing around and get it back towards the back end center jump. Indeed, he goes over that with some nice air, a nice landing as well. He'll go back over the back end of the middle jump on the top end. Gets that going a little easy, and he's going to set it up for the backflip ramp, and he's going to make it. A nice backflip right there from Avenger. Nice and clean. Over the racing lane now. Lands on the ramp, does a nice landing right there. Set that up really nicely, and over that little double jump as well. Turning it around again. A nice, clean, solid run so far for Avenger. Kind of uncharacteristic. Oh, I opened my mouth too soon. He's going to pull out an absolutely beautiful save. Using the gas to get out of that one. Nice job by Avenger right there. And he's going to set it up. Oh, he missed the backflip ramp a little bit. I don't know if he's going for it or just trying to turn around. He's going to cross thread that center jump. And come for the crush cars as well. Set that up and rock it over the crush cars. Oh, getting a little twisted. Getting more twisted. And now Avenger's starting to pull out some of those wow moments that we know him for. Kept all four wheels on it. Lost the hood is all. Doing pretty good thus far. He's going to go over that jump. Hit two jumps kind of square in the middle. That's going to be a weird landing. But a landing nonetheless. He's still going. He's going to hit these crush cars a little bit cross side as well over the top of the bus. Oh, man, getting up on two wheels and pulls it back down. Seeing some nice moves out of Avenger here today. He's going to set up for the backflip ramp yet again. And he's going to get another nice clean landing. And he's going to throw it in reverse as well. Headed straight for the top end jumps here. And he's going to hit a nice little cross threaded jump. He's going to dive nose first. And he's going to go a front flip and land it. How spectacular is that? It's a nice jump after that as well for the combo move. Never miss a beat. Goes to turn it around, and he's going to land it on the lid. And just pretty much as the time was expiring, Avenger puts it over on the lid. What? You wouldn't expect anything less, would you? That was awesome. A fantastic run by Avenger right there. I'm sure that'll do well with the fan voters at the end of the show. And now Reptoid comes out. Another previous winner, in fact, tied for a win earlier in our, uh, one of our events. And he's going to come out with a nice little jump right there. Work it into a nice slap wheelie right there. Walk it all the way across the floor. That's nice. And he's going to go over a front flip. Mad Scientist style. He's going to land it a little bit more sideways and rips a shock off of the right rear. So that's going to be some serious damage to the truck right off the start of the run. And he's immediately going to hit some big, big air right off the bat just to show us all that the shock being broke does not, does not deter him at all. Reptoid's still going. All right, flipping that thing around here. Going to hit one of our angle jumps, the low, low ones. He's going to come towards those crush cars as well. Skims over the top of those, two-wheeling it. That shock just flopping around the back over the tanker. That shock being broke cannot feel good on these landings. As Reptoid, he's going to go for the racing lane jump here. He's going to get some nice air off of that, some nice distance as well. And working into a little slab wheelie. That shock being broke not helping the slab wheelies at all. And that shock finally breaks off entirely, and there it goes. And now, oh, Reptoid's having a problem just turning. Now that truck is really leaning over to one side. Somebody get Paul Wall, because we are sitting sideways over here in Reptoid. And up over the crush cars he goes. He's going to clear one of those. Cross side, going to miss the bus, come off on the side of that jump. That massive dirt pile there with those cars and bus embedded in them. And he's going to take the backflip ramp. And even with a busted shock, he's going to make the backflip. That could not have felt very good for the driver. 
And he's gonna go over the center jump as well. Get some nice air over top of that. He's just gonna land on that, the other side of that jump. And there goes the hood. Run that over. See you later, Reptoid's head. Reptoid has been decapitated over here. He's gonna set up another nice jump here, same as his opening one. Gets much more air off at this time, but he catches the lip of that other jump and puts it on the roof. And that is gonna end the run for Reptoid. A fantastic run yet again. Absolute bangers. Four runs coming out of the box here of our Super Show. And speaking of Mad Scientist moves, we saw one from Reptoid. Well, here's Mad Scientist himself coming out of retirement once again for our show. And he goes straight for the crush cars and the tanker as well. So coming out of the box hot is Mad Scientist. He saw somebody else make his move that won him a world championship in Monster Jam a few years ago. And he said, well, wait a minute. Now I got to come out here and prove people that I can do one of the things as he lands hard on the trunk of one of the crush cars after airing it out over the tanker. A nice move right there. That'll get the crowd on their feet. Takes a nice little slow technical ramp over that ramp right there and then... Walks it into a slap, Willy, and is going to get some nice air. Knocks the body loose and sends it into a backflip. And he lands that as well. Good stuff going so far for Mad Scientist out of the box. Good stuff going for the whole show in general. Walks it over the tanker. Flies it over the crush cars. Lands it hard on the side. And still going is VP Racing Fuels Mad Scientist. Kind of knocked that body that he had shifted off back into place, and he's going to have a really skewed landing right there. That's a really messed up one. Blows a tire, and can he save the truck? No, he cannot. Mad Scientist as well is going to put it on the lid. You hate to see it. He didn't even get to emulate his World Finals front flip move. That Ruptoid one-upped him, but hey, we got another classic right here. How about the original Grave Digger number one? This truck was... Dennis Anderson's mud truck back in the day when I, he began his trucking adventures. And uh, get some nice air out of the box right there. That was some beautiful air. And now over the fountain as well. Is he going to dip his back toes? Indeed he does in the fountain. So some big air to start things off here for the OG Grave Digger. And he's going to go over the bus jump now here. Is he going to get over the crush cars? Indeed he will. A little cross landing there. But gathers it up and oh, combos it right into another move gonna spin that truck around and come back right to the next big jump indeed all about the big air here with the original grave digger oh he catches a lip again though is he gonna save it he does nice job nice reaction there with the gas to get that thing back on all four wheels and pull it pull it back in you love to see those kind of saves shows what kind of control that these drivers have and by these drivers I mean me because I am just so talented well, there you go, and he's going to go up the back of the uh, the main jump there. And he's going to set it up for a backflip as well. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he doesn't get all of it on the jump, and that is going to be a hard hit. Can he save it? No, he cannot. A hard landing on the roof trying to hit the backflip does not quite get all of it. And it's going to do it for Gravedigger number one in our super show but hey we got another we got one legend how about another here of a different sport we've got the tie truck here after Daryl Waltrip's famous NASCAR stock car and he's coming out for a big ride the tie truck has actually won a show in our uh, our previous adventures here in BMG Drive so this tie truck knows some success could it win the world finals equivalent here with our super show you never know it might happen He's got some nice moves going on right now. Oh, is he going to complete the front flip? He does. Well, how about that? Who needs you, mad scientist? We got every other truck out here doing your move. All right. Number 17 is on the board here. Dare Waltrip showing his skills maybe at the ripe old age of what? 72, 73. What a legendary man Daryl Waltrip is. And his monster truck's doing a pretty good job itself as a backflip gets completed as well. Nice and clean. Over the fountain lane there. Going to get a, a little bit of a cockeyed landing. Runs into that, that main hill. But, whoa, what do we got going on here? What kind of move is that? I don't even know what kind of move that was, but that was a pretty sweet little technical move right there to get, get a little spin on it. That was nice. Something the fans have not seen yet in this competition, which I'm sure will score well. The tie truck going for it all, and he's going for the crush cars as well. He's going to hit the trunk, and he's going over... There's no way he pulls it out of this. Oh, he's up on the wall. 
Well, unlike real Monster Jam, I'm not gonna shut him off. You might as well keep going. Come on, see if you can get off that wall. He does. There you go. Man, we got one heck of a show shaping up here. This is going great. All right, and the tire truck's just gonna keep on ticking as the tire blows out. I heard it. Tire goes out, indeed. Yep, it's that right front right there. It is indeed flat. And we're gonna cross right up here into the bus. We didn't knock the bus over. The tie truck is really going for it all here in another backflip. Can he do it? He put a little spin on it. And he's nice and the truck is gonna shut down. That will pretty much do it. We can drive this one to the back. It's cleaning up. But the tie truck shows up and shows out yet again. Here in v -Man G Drive Monster Trucks. We've got another one right here, though. Lucas Oil Crusader for our next run. We're already eight trucks in to this event. And I tell you what, it's been a stellar run thus far by pretty much every truck. And look at this for technical moves. There you go. Lucas Oil Crusader must have been watching that last run there by the tie truck. Saw what he did over in that area as he walks it over the bus as well. That's a nice little move. I like the technical moves just as much as I like these big air uh, wow moments as well. If you can show me something I haven't seen before that's technical, I love it. He's going to stand it straight up going over that ramp and walk it across the hill. There you go. A nice run going so far by Lucas Oil Crusader. We've had a nice run going by pretty much everybody at this point. The only one that went over a little early, I would say, so far was Mad Scientist. A cockeyed landing right there. You hear the suspension tweaking in the bottom. But he's going to get that thing to turn real close to the wall. It works. It still works for now anyway. Oh, he's going to get a nice landing right there on the back wheels. Uh, maybe not such a nice landing after all loses the hood. Oh, and he's going to go straight up over backwards. And he pull it back. Can he pull it back? Oh, it's going to be hard to do it from that spot because that ramp is so low. And no, he is not. And that is another early exit. This time by the Lucas Oil Crusader, who had a good run going, but uh, probably dumped it on its lid a little bit too soon there. And next up is the Mutant Super Soda Truck, and he's coming out immediately out of the box with some big air and a rough landing and over on two wheels, but he pulls it back. Nice. Very similar intro to Hot Wheels right there, and he's going to pull it back over a couple of ramps as well, and he'll whip that thing back around for our big jump at the back. And he's going to get a nice landing right there, as clean as a landing as you're going to get. Work it into a nice slap wheelie and crash it up into the bus and smacks it right into the side of it. It might have buried in it as well. Oh, is he going to be able to get off of this bus? Oh, man, he's going to have to rock it off there. You got to be real careful. Sometimes you can rip a wheel off or flatten a tire. And you don't want either one of those things in the biggest show we've done thus far. Oh, he's really tearing at that bus, but he gets off of it. And he didn't lose any kind of wheels or tires. So that was a success right there. That bus still leaning up there in its little hole. And he's going to go straight for the backflip. There you go. That's a nice way to answer for what just happened. You got caught up. It kind of ruined your momentum. So get the fans back into it with the backflip. I like that move right there. A nice flat landing right there for Mutant as well. So he's going to pull it into this jump right here. Combo it up. Gets a nice clean landing. A nice clean jump. He spins that back around here going for the technical double jump there, but he's going to go flying over it instead this time, and the hood comes off a mutant. Doesn't matter. Throw it over the fountain. Land halfway in the fountain. No, oh, and almost flip it over. Can he save it? What a save. Once again, another truck pulling it out using those front wheels. Nicely done here, and he's going to hit that little red jump just before the bus stack, and he's going to put it on two wheels. Oh, that ramp just caught him out and puts him over. And that is going to do it for the Mutant Super Soda Truck as well. He goes down in another solid run, but a little bit of an early exit there for the Mutant Super Soda. Here's another truck coming out next, Overkill Evolution. Another former Monster Jam World Champion from the World Finals. And he's coming back for more here at the Super Show as well. He gets a nice opening jump and throws it over the back of the main jump. Nicely done. Gets a little sideways. Oh, the wheel breaks off. Two jumps into the run and the wheel is gone. Oh, and he puts it over the tanker. That's going to knock him over on his side. Oh, he's trying to save it desperately. How does he save the truck with only three wheels? Nicely done right there. Oh, wow. Well, Overkill Evolution immediately at a disadvantage. Three wheels on the wagon. 
Oh man, you hate to have something like that happen to you right off the bat, but he's not quitting. He's gonna go right back at that tanker again and gets up and over it. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. Landing right on the broken piece of the suspension as the wheel sits out there in the middle of the area back there. Overkill Evolution not saying die here as he's going on with three wheels. Oh, he's gonna get up, up on the side. Is he gonna be able to get this one back? He does, that was a bit of a gyro say, but for three wheels, I can't fault him too much. Just trying to keep anything going at this rate. Oh, let's see. What can he do? What can he do? With three wheels, he's going for that double jump right here. Landing on the side of the suspension now. Making some fantastic noises. Okay, going back over here. Oh, the little lip jumps there for the two wheels. Is he going to be able to pull this one out as well? He's going to try. He's going to have to move it back on the wheels. And indeed, he does. And that is pretty much where the time is going to run out. A beaten and battered overkill evolution with three wheels actually filled out the run pretty well. Had a few moments that the, the fans might question, especially that, uh, that save he did. But uh, that's for the fans to decide. And here comes another fan favorite. Son of a mother back once again here. And he's going to go straight for the crush cars and tanker as well. A popular opening route. And he's going to yank it back into the main ramp jump lane here. And he's going to get over it with a little bit of a cross side landing as well. He knocks the hood off. And finally gets that thing corralled after it wanted to stay on two wheels forever. And now he's got it stuck on a little jump trying to sort of cross thread that. Didn't quite go the way he wanted to. So that's going to hurt his momentum. But he's going to go straight up the back end of that jump, get some nice air, clears the ramp, hits the landing, and throws it straight into a backflip as well. And lands that backflip, does a nice job with that. He's going to pull it into that smaller blue jump on the end. Just misses those crush cars, that would have put him over probably if he had hit them. Puts it up over that little wheelie jump here, these low ramps. Does a nice job with that as well, throwing a little wheelie up there for the fans. Oh, this is going to be trouble right here. Oh, what a lucky bounce to pull that one back out. And then immediately throws it up over the middle jump as well. Nice sequence right there from Son of a Mother. Oh, this is going to be another sideways one, but he pulls it back. Doing a great job right now, I would say. Oh, man, those sideways landings hurt every time. You know they do. He's going to pull it back here. Let's see what kind of big air he's going to get full throttle up over into the center of the map. And he's going to land on the frame. Oh, how is he going to pull that back with momentum? A beautiful save once again. Oh, and back over the ramp. There's no way he's setting up for another backflip as well. Oh, that's a massive air backflip. And the wheel breaks off. The wheel breaks off and the truck is going over. Maybe. Oh, can he pull it back? He does. He does, he's got a little bit of time left. What can he do? What can he do with it? He's pulling it over these racing lane jumps. Oh, he's tipped it over on its side. Oh, he's gonna do anything he can to get it back now. This run is almost over. Oh, he gets his back on the wheels. Can he do it? Can he do it? Right here, can he do it? No, he could not. And on the roof he goes, knocking all the body panels off and missing a wheel. But a, oh man, full of wow moments run right there, my son of a mother. And we welcome in, finally, the most recent racing champion of the world in Monster Jam, Bounty Hunter getting it done at World Finals 20 after all the years of runner-up finishes in racing. Bounty Hunter gets a win, and now he gets to try and put another one on the board in freestyle, and he's doing a great job right now. A slab wheelie that did a great, great, great carry after rolling it over that tanker and getting it back up in the air. So a nice start right there. Nice little technical start for Bounty Hunter. I like to see that. Oh, he's going over, though. Oh, that's a poorly placed jump for this. Oh, he's going to save it anyway, though. Nicely done by Bounty Hunter. How about that? Can he go over the ball? He's going to cross thread up the ramp sideways here on this little bus hill. I like that as well, that's pretty cool. He's gonna go straight up, he's cross threading everything. I like that, something we haven't seen much of. That is cool. You go back over the tanker now, walk it over top of that. That thing does not give an inch. He's gonna line it up here. Will he go for the backflip? Indeed he will. 
and he's gonna land that backflip and immediately throws it reverse. Oh, he's gonna do a reverse jump even, nice. Another something we haven't seen so far, and he's keeping the reverse action going, comboing it up. Oh, he's going over again though. Rips the body off and saves the truck. Oh, you got the hood, I promise it's Bounty Hunter. As Bounty Hunter having another fantastic run here. Oh, the tire is flat though, you heard it blow out. He throws it into a wheelie anyway. Keep that flat tire up in the air, might as well. Got nothing left but the hood. Well, he knocked that hood off before it's over, you never know. He's still going for a wild in this freestyle. Over the lip to jumps right now. Oh, he's putting it on its nose even. Oh, two wheeling it as well, but pulls it back. Over the crush cars. Gets over those without incident. Pulls it around the tanker. He's up on two wheels. Oh, he's driving it on two wheels. Man, he nearly went over right there, but he saves it and almost crashes into the wall. Throws it in reverse. He's going to line it up here. What's he going to hit? He's going to hit the racing lanes. It looks like half racing lane, half bus lane. And there goes another tire. Another tire has blown out. What more can he do now? He's going to hit that little technical double jump. Oh, he throws it in a nice little walking wheelie right there. And... That is about gonna do it, I think. That is gonna run out the time. And indeed, Bounty Hunter will take it to the garage. A nice run right there by Bounty Hunter. And he gets to take it back to the garage. And here's another classic right here in Predator. Coming hot out of the box with some massive air. That might be the biggest air we've seen off of that jump yet. That was clean, landed as cleanly as that. And some more big air going over the bus. And lands it, plants it right in the bus. Is he gonna be able to get off of this thing now? Oh, Predator in the same predicament that Mutant was in a little bit earlier. Can he get it off? Mutant was able to do it. He's just going to need to rock it gently back and forth. Try not to blow out any tires. Oh, man, that bus is making a real racket. There you go. He did get off of it. He's going to go back for it again. He's going to try to conquer it again. Oh, no, he got it stuck right back in the same spot. Oh, my God. He ripped the suspension out of it. The rear suspension is removed from the truck, and the, the front tire is gone as well. And the engine is blown. Predator is dead on the course. Predator gets absolutely destroyed. Oh my goodness, look, this truck has one wheel left. Well, I have to pay respects to Predator died on the battlefield. Here's another awesome truck. We've got Jester, which has had some good runs here for us previously, and he's going for a different opening route, and that is massive air. Rips the hood off of it right off the bat. Unbelievable opening right there from Jester. Now that's, they used to talk about announcing your presence all the time. Well, that's one way to do it. All right, Jester walking it over, throwing a bit of caution to the wind here. But still going for us. He hits the angle jump. Gonna get a nice little sideways landing there, but pulls it back through. Going for the racing lane, kind of crosses it over with the fountain jump as well. Get some nice air. Got to pull it back down the, the two wheels. Always up on two wheels in this game. You gotta love it here. What's he gonna do? He's gonna cross thread some more over the bus stack, land on a car, flattens the roof of that crush car over there. He's probably the first one to hit one of those truly square and then throws it into another big jump immediately afterwards for a nice little combo. Going really well so far, I would say, this entire freestyle show, let alone this run for Jester. He's got some nice air moments. Another one right there. Is he going to pull it up over the crush car as well? Kind of skims over top of that, over top of the bus as well. Pulls it back down. Turns it around. Oh, man. I think I know what he's doing. He's lining it up. He's going to take a big run here at this bus jump. He's off. He's going to go for it. Can he clear it? Oh, he clears it by a mile, and he hits that red jump on the end. Oh, and he blows a tire as well on that red jump sticking out. That might slow him down a little bit. It might not slow him down at all here. I mean, this is the super show. We got to get something going here. Let's see. He's going to go for this little angle jump right there. Gets over that and kind of cruises over it. Headed for the crush cars next. Gets over there and over the tanker as well for a nice little triple combo. And knocks it out of gear right there. You can hear. Oh, he set it up for the backflip. Oh, he's going to under rotate it a little bit. It's going to bounce back. He's going to hit the reverse gear. Pulls it back out. Oh, but it's going to fall over. Oh, man. If you would have pulled that out, that would have been the move of the day so far. But Jester lands it on the roof after a backflip attempt. 
and we have got another legend on the scene. Gravedigger the legend is here. Multiple, a couple of times that Gravedigger the legend has shown up and he's got a beautiful walking wheelie right there all the way across the floor. Nicely done right here. Okay, he's gonna cross thread up as well here on this bus mound. He's gonna walk it over that even. Man, this is wheelie central right here for Gravedigger the legend. Oh, he throws it up. Oh, look at this. And a moonwalk out even. Oh, nicely done by Gravedigger the Legend. Got in a bad spot right there and pulled it into something awesome. And another wheelie right here. Oh, he's going a front flip now. And he's going to land that as well. Can he throw it into a back flip immediately after he does? This is insane. Not a minute wasted right here. And another wheelie to walk it out of that immediately into a jump. This is action packed right here. Another wheelie. Oh, he's going to go head over heels this time though. Oh, is he going to get this one back? He does. He does. He knocked it out of gear, but he's still going. He's ripping the body off. Oh, Gravedigger the Legend is doing an unbelievable job right now. Over that little red jump. Up onto the crush cars. Cross the bus. Without incident. Nicely done. He's going to go for another backflip. Over on the other side now. Throws a little twister on it. And goes straight for the middle jump to get some more big air. And he's going to land that one flat. Oh, my. And there goes the rest of the body. The car, the truck is caught up on the jump, but still goes. And there the body goes flailing off, and the truck is completely bare. I promise you, this is indeed Gravedigger the Legend. More big air right there, and another cross landing. Over the fountain he goes right here. Oh, he's going to have a tough one right here, and that's going to put him face first in the dirt. But what a run by Gravedigger the Legend. That is going to be a high scorer right there. Here is our off-brand cereal, Electric Blue. Looking like a Blue Thunder knockoff, but he is here once again. And he's got a big, big run to come and try one up. Immediately goes with a technical move. Nice. Puts it right on the tailgate for the wheelie. Nice way to open it up right there. You got to have a high octane run now, though, after what Gravedigger the Legend just put up. Oh, going straight for that backflip. Gonna under-rotate that as well. Landed on the back wheels. But pulls it back. Put it in reverse gear. Kind of missed the gear, it sounded like. And he's gonna he's gonna plop it through the fountain, it looks like. There you go. Not bad. Alright, to the back of the track here. Up, straight up. Oh, man, and over backwards. Oh, he might get lucky here with how this ramp is pushed. It's gonna fall back over. Thank you, gravity, right now, is what Electric Blue is saying. Pulled that one back as easy as you please. And doing some donuts as well. Nice. Haven't seen any donuts yet as well. Like to see those. Over he goes back over the skull jumps there. Love the design of this track. This is an awesome track. And over the racing lane backwards as well. Electric Blue loses the hood. Goes for another backflip ramp here. Throws a twist on that one as well and lands it. I gotta say, this is an awesome freestyle show so far. If you're not loving this, I don't really know what to tell you. Oh, he blows out a tire. He's not going to love that. Oh, man. F in the chat for the tires. No tires spared here today. He gets a nice jump over that little angled ramp. Just misses the crush cars. Going to go up over the center jump. Stick it straight up. Land it on the tailgate again. Go up, cross-threading it. Throw it up on the nose. I think another tire just blew out. Indeed it did. That back one, and now he's stuck on the bus in the same spot and I think oh man there is no movement oh the engine is screaming but the tires are not moving there they go finally they're moving thought maybe there was a serious drivetrain issue but that truck is indeed gonna die out on top of the bus so what was a pretty solid run for electric blue right there is gonna end right in that same spot and here is another former world finals champion Air, US Air Force afterburner back from retirement and let's see what we can get done here US Air Force you better be flying high when you're flying with them go straight for the racing lane get some nice air some nice distance on that jump brings it back over to the back end of the track it's a nice little slap willy going as well and brings it right back down turning that truck around now getting it back going gonna go for one of the big skull jumps here down at the bottom Oh, man, he got slapped around there. Almost went into a bit of a flat spin there. But goes over the ramp, the red ramp, a little bit cross side and a lot of like that. Got to see something new here. What can U.S. Air Force Afterburner do for us? 
Gonna go over the racing lane here and get a nice little jump going. Pulls it back after a little bit sideways. Knock. There goes a tire gone. There goes another tire gone. We just bought two tires on the truck. One on each side in the back end and the front. So that's gonna hurt now. He's gonna go forward over the tanker. That's massive. Aaron face first into the ground. And that is gonna wreck out US Air Force afterburner with a hard landing right on the chassis. Man. All right, well, our next run up is Bomb Squad after US Air Force Afterburner burns out. Let's see what Bomb Squad has. Can he give us an explosive run? He's coming the long way around. He's going to go for the red jump. He's going to try and combo it into the bus mount. He does. Clocks the bus on the way by up on two wheels. Oh, is he going over? He's got to try and pull it back. Oh, no. Immediately flips the truck over. Oh, you hate to have that happen in a big show like this one, but Bomb Squad fizzles out. It was a dud. Here's another truck known for sp spectacular crashes that we've had in this series. We've got Hooked back as well. Clean over the crush cars first to go. Sticks it over there, nose dives it a little bit, does the same over the tanker. Gonna turn it about. Oh, slaps the wall a little bit there as he lined it up for the backflip, thinks better of it. And he's gonna go for the center jump instead to try and get some big air, and he does. Gets a cross landing as well and blows out a tire that I see. I thought I saw a flat tire on that front end. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going crazy. He's going to go straight over the crush cars and lands it on the tanker. Oh, he's going over. And I think that flat tire is indeed flat. Pretty sure I'm not going crazy. So he did that big air maneuver with a flat tire and now a broken off tire as well. Over the bus, jump into the crush cars and flips it over into the end of the racing lane and hooked. We talked about having some spectacular crashes in our time with him. Well, he's back and threw another one up for us again. Well, we've got some north of the border representation here at the Super Show. Canadian Carnage, another great value knockoff of uh, Northern Nightmare. And he's going to stick it up on the tailgate immediately. Nice way to start it off. Gets it turned around here. Goes for the fountain jump. Nice little slow speed one. Gonna land it nice there. Throws it up over the racing lane end. That was a nice little triple combo right there, if you will. Oh, we're gonna hit the, the technical double jump again. Another tailgate smasher right there. Nice stuff by Canadian Carnage coming out with a couple of technical moves. Got me impressed here. Now he's gonna go for some big air floors it over that center back jump. Lands it nice, gets a little flat flat change of direction there and goes over the smaller and blue jump nicely done not missing a beat here turn it around looking like he's gonna go for the tanker again which has been flattened the crush cars oh the crush car gets absolutely destroyed by Canadian carnage is he gonna get it back he does I think he used more momentum there we'll have to let the fans aside oh he's going for the backflip over the top and he's gonna land it a running backflip how about that? Oh, he's going to go for another one with a twist on it. Canadian Carnage pulling out the wild moments here for us. Now he's cross threading all the way across this front end of the jumps. How about that? Going to go back to the crush cars now. Looked like it came out of gear for a second there. It sounded like it. Two-wheeling it. Oh, nice two-wheeling it. Two-wheeled it down the lane right there. Canadian Carnage is putting up a show right now. Oh, man, going to get a sloppy landing right there, but back over the fountain jump. Going to get a flat landing again. Is he going to throw it into that backflip jump? I think he's going to use it to help him turn. Back to the buses now. Over the buses he goes. Clears those and the crush cars, and he's walking it. He's walking into the spider jump. Oh, lands it flat on the roof, sheds the body, and keeps going. The momentum carried him back going forward, and he is still going another bear truck. Canadian Carnage out here giving it his all. Over the racing lane jump right there. Some nice air. Is he going to throw it directly into a backflip? He does. Oh, he doesn't get all the rotation on it, though. Can he save it? He's got a nice little chance. Here he does. He does. A nice spin save right there. And he's going to send it right over the center ramp. There you go. Oh, he's got another jacked up landing. Can he save it again? He does. Another save! Canadian Carnage representing for the True North. 
Throws it into a wheelie. Oh, watch out for the wall. He's going into the seats. <laughs> Puts it in the seats. Rips the wheel off it and gives the fans an up close and personal experience here. My, oh my, what a run for Canadian Carnage. We've got another truck coming up here. The white special Escalade from past world finals. The Escalade is back and he's going straight for the skull ram there on an angle. Lance on the spider. And he's got a lane here to race with. He's going to choose the bus rather though and clears it. Gets up over that. Will he go directly for the backflip? He will. And he'll land that backflip. He's going to go for another one. Straight up back-to-back -back backflips. Will he get this one back? Oh, he leans it on the back. If he throws it in reverse, he might have a chance. And he does. There you go. He's going to keep it in reverse and back over the bus. In reverse he goes. Oh, and he slaps. What a flat spin move right there. Can he get it back? Can he get it back? Oh, what a save this would be. What a save! What a save! Oh my god, what a save! Look at the body! The body is backwards on the truck! How did that even happen? Oh, what a run! What a run, boys! And it's only just started! Oh, he goes some nice air right there over that blue jump there! A hard, flat landing! A tire is blown! I heard it, and it is that front one right there is blown out. Look at the tailgate. It's at the front of the truck, and he's going to go over. Can he get it back? No gyro here. Oh, is he going to get it? Wait a minute. He's going to go the other way. That would be a much better save, but he flat lands it on the lid as well. Man, Escalade had something going there, boys. That was looking good. And here we've got another classic. Carolina Crusher coming out again. In fact, this was the first monster truck that we used in our return to Beam and G Drive monster trucking. So let's see how it goes. He's going straight for the backflip, and he does land that. All right. Going for the racing lane here. He's going to get over that with some nice air. Nice distance again. Let's see. Takes it to the back end of the track now. Spinning that thing around. Gonna hit the spider jump here, taking it straight up and down. A nice sky wheelie, gonna land it hard on the back, throw it into a nosedive. Got it all twisted up here. But gets it back. And floors it down the lane here and slides it around. Look at that wheel lifting up, that suspension. Already seeing a little bit of twist and then goes over the center jump. Did he just blow out a tire? He did. Blows out the left front, nose dives it afterwards, and he's got it all twisted up, going sideways over, but he pulls it back in again. Doing a great job right now as Carolina Crusher with that tire being flat. Goes over the little lip jump right there. He's going to go back to the racing lane. Backside throws another one straight up in the air. Another hard landing as well. He's going to go for the backflip again. No, he's not going to get all of it. But he uses the momentum to let it roll through. Nice. That right there is adapting. That's nice. You'll love to see that. Goes over the crush car, lands on the hood of the crush car, gets another spin out, and he's going to be turtled on his back. Oh, man, another run that had something going there that's going to end just a little bit early. But Carolina Crusher once again shows up, and now we've got the original monster truck. Bigfoot is here. And he's going straight for the crush cars and lands it on the top of the tanker. Another one going for that big jump and landing hard on the frame and crushing that tanker that doesn't hardly give anyway. But he's going to get another shot over the top of that tanker for some big air. And that pays off for him nicely doing some two wheels. Oh, nicely done with the two wheels. I saw that. Nicely done right there by Bigfoot. Goes straight up and in the air and he's going to get a little bit tossed over to the side, but gets it back as well. Another two wheel in it. Not sure how intentional that one was. He's going to pull it over. Oh, slows it down a little bit. Ah, oh, looked like he was going to try to get a slap wheelie, but it didn't go for him. That suspension's a little bit twisted up and goes for the center jump. He'll get through that nice and clear. He's going to pull it over here to the lip jump, pull it back on there. It's going to put him rear end up in the air for a nose dive. Still slinging that thing around at the back end of the track. Coming back for the skull jump. Gets up and over that. He's going to have a twist on the end of it here. Can he save it? He does. Wow, what a save right there. Loses the hood. 
but pulls the save out and gets the truck back going over the jump the other way and gets that one still slinging it back in the back of the track here. Let's see, he'll take it over the double jump here. Is he going to do it a technical style? He will stand it up, walk it over. Oh, he's got to stand it up. Oh, I love that. And he's going to throw it into another slap wheelie. How about Bigfoot here breaking out some technical moves? I like that. I loved him standing it up straight up and down and letting it sit there for a minute. That was awesome. He's going to go for the backflip ramp. It looks like he does. Might have over-rotated that one with a little spin. And that's going to put Bigfoot on his back. Man, a good run there for Bigfoot. Showing up the classic monster truck himself. And now we have a monster energy, a new age monster truck here to show that we can pull up with the classics and show them how it's done as well. Goes over the racing lane. Nicely done there. Is he going to put it into a backflip already? He does. And he lands that backflip. He's going to put it in reverse gear. It looked like he tried to. And he's going to go backwards over that center ramp. Nicely done right there. If I do say so myself, he's going to put it right back in reverse in forward gear and put it right back over the racing lane. There you go. Oh, my. Oh, I thought he was going to go for another back blow. It could be like, wait a minute. Did I just see all that? He almost did a rewind on us. Goes over the other racing lane this time. Lands on that one. Goes over the skull jump. Throws it into a little nose dive. And slinging it around the back end of the track here. Pulls it to the lip jump. Gets over that. Nearly cleared all of it. Caught this little end of it. But pulled it back just as nice over the back end. He's going to land it in the fountain drink. Oh, and he's going to get a nice little two-wheeled save right there as well. All right, did the mini blue jump over here? Not Nothing mini about it. And off the crush cars as well? Yes, over those. Monster Energy's got some momentum going. We need a little wow factor, though. We need some wow factor for Monster Energy. He's going to give us a little technical move right here with a nice little walking wheelie. There he goes across the floor. Up onto the crush cars over here by the bus. Rolls over that one. Gets over the bus nice and easy. See, Monster Energy's going to come back here to the backflip ramp once again. He goes for it. And another clean backflip. All right. So Monster Energy giving us plenty of substance here. But I just think we need some more wow factor. Is he going to get some nice big air over the center? I need him to show me something I haven't seen. Going to stand it up nice over those little angled lips. Brings it back to the crush cars. Gets over those. Goes over the tanker again. See what Monster Energy throws into a little slab. Willie, he's not going to go for another backflip, is he? He is, and there's a twist on this one. Hey, there you go. He landed that. A nice move right there, and kind of half over the... Uh, oh, he's going head over heels, boys. Oh, he's going to land it. Oh, it looked like maybe he was going for a front flip, and he put it on the lid. And that is going to turtle Monster Energy and take him and end his run there. He had a nice solid run going with momentum. But now it is time for the icon, the world's most popular monster truck, the all-time great Gravedigger is here to put on the final run of the show. And let's see what he's going to do. I think he's going to line it up here with that center jump. Get the fans on their feet. You got to, if it's Gravedigger, you got to put some antics into it, right? You got to put a little showmanship in it. He's going to back it up even further here up onto the backflip ramp. And he's going to go for it here. Full speed ahead over the center jump. And he's going to get over that beautifully. And to the back end of the course now for another jump. And Gravedigger is on the board now starting his final run of the show. Up Gravedigger and goes there up the lip. Lands it back in. Does a nice job pulling that one back after sending it into a nosedive. The crush cars gets over those and... Throws it into a wheelie into the tanker. Gets some nice air off the tanker. Two wheels it and pulls it back in. Nice job so far by Gravedigger. Goes over the fountain. He's going to cross thread it over into the racing lane and gets a nice landing right there. Pulling those two jumps together. Over the skull jump there. Puts it into another nose dive. Slings that thing around. Kicking up dirt over the spider jump here on the end. And he's going to get a nice clean landing over top of that. Uses the red setup jump here to go over the crush cars. Cleans over those. And up over the bus as well. Good things going well so far for Gravedigger. Let's see for the backflip ramp. 
Nicely done there. Lost the flag, but got the backflip. Grave nigger gonna keep going here. Got to show us some wow moments as well. He's getting a little twisted up there, but he pulls it over the double jump. And gets over that nice, and he's slinging that around with the wheel up in the air. That looks pretty cool right there. Gets it over the lip jumps as well. Sends it looking forward. Going for the racing lane jump here. He's gonna set it straight up and back over a little bit if he hits the reverse. Can he get it back? He does! Oh, not all the way! And it's going over! Can he get it back? Can he get it back? He's driving it! He's driving it on its side! Come on, get it back! Oh, I think it's gonna stall right there! And it is on its lid! Grave Digger lands it on the turtle shell, and that is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen! That was the BeamNG Drive Monster Truck Super Show. Let's take a look at the carnage as I thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The Crush Cars certainly didn't enjoy it, but we as fans, I hope, did. Make sure you go to the straw poll link down below. It'll be in the description and it will be the pinned comment in the comments. Both links will take you to the same place. Vote for who you thought had the best run of the show, and that will be our winner in one week's time. So that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did like it, hit the like button, subscribe for more, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought down there as well, and that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!